we are given a system of blocks and springs now initially this thread is cut off so the blocks will start to move towards right and at one point it will leave the surface so it will jump into the air so when that happens we need to find the velocity of the block let's assume the velocity to be v and when it is breaking off we know that normal reaction is zero so net forces in the perpendicular to the plane direction must be balanced now initially the string length was l naught and let's say it has turned by an angle theta which means this new length of the spring is l naught by cos theta and the distance it has moved is l naught tan theta so we are doing this so that we find the stretch in the string and this we found such that we find how much height the mass b has dropped so first let's write the force perpendicular to the plane now because n is equal to 0 and it is just breaking off the force perpendicular must be 0 which means k delta l cos theta must be equal to mg so k delta l cos theta is equal to mg so delta is delta l is final length minus initial length which gives this now by energy conservation between this point and this delta pe plus delta ke is zero so delta pe will be due to gravity and due to spring and delta ke is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so initially it was at rest finally both the blocks a and b are moving with the velocity v so kinetic energy will be half 2m into v square and potential energy due to gravity so it has fallen down so potential energy will be negative so it will be minus mg into this distance l naught tan theta and potential energy gain in the spring is half k delta l square so delta l is again this plus mv square is equal to zero so from here we already have the value of theta now this is our second equation with second variable v and k in the problem is given as 5 mg by l naught so when we do that the problem becomes simpler otherwise if you just try to solve with 1 and 2 it's a very complicated equation if you try to get the answer in terms of k so we'll substitute the value of k with what is given here so these terms will become quite simple and you will get your answer v is equal to this much